Yeah, a while back, uh, before I had a lathe, I made this hammer. I paid somebody else to knurl the handle. And how I got the idea is I watched uh, one of Welding Tips and Tricks videos. And how he did the handle was just welded a bunch of beads, weld beads on it, but I didn't want to do it that way. And what I did was I welded a TIG welded silicon bronze to one end and stainless steel to the other. So what I'm thinking about doing is making another one now that I have a lathe. And what I'm going to do is just turn all this down a little bit. And I'm going to turn both ends down a little bit and then TIG weld that up and then turn it back down to the right size. And it'll look better than how I did this one. Yeah, I'm also thinking about making this a little bit shorter because this thing's pretty heavy. Yeah, so what I'm going to do first is center drill this and use the live center because this piece isn't real round, especially on the ends. Then I can turn the whole thing down and it'll stay in there right. And I have this all the way way in the chuck right now. And what I'm done, if there's part of that hole still there, I'm going to TIG weld over that anyway so it really won't matter. Yeah, this is just the first pass. I'll probably have to take two passes on this to get it where it's good. Yeah, as you can see, it's going to take one more pass to get this round. I'm not sure what this was. Maybe it was a pin for something that I got at the scrap metal yard. So it's not real good. Yeah, so I got this turned down now where it's round all the way. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to slide this in and I'm going to do the end. And I'll cut into this a little bit and I'll, I'll show you how I did that. Okay, so this on the end doesn't need to be cleaned up real well. Because it's all going to be TIG welded up. And this is going to be TIG welded all the way around here too. And then I'm going to turn this back down to where it's the right size. So now we're going to go TIG weld this end up and then I'll fix this and then I'll do the other end. Yeah, I also decided to turn the other end down. That way it'll clamp in the chuck straight each time. And this is going to get cut off to where it's a little, going to be a little bit shorter than the one that I've already made. To make it a little bit lighter. So I'm not going to use the other end anyways. Yeah, so now I'm ready to TIG weld this up. I'm going to do the silicon bronze side first. Yeah, I got the end all built up with silicon bronze. So now I'm going to turn this down to where the end is the same diameter and, and I'll turn the end off to where it's flat. And then I'll, I'll figure out where I want to cut it off at and do the other end with uh, stainless steel. So now what I'm going to do is turn this back down and the end. And I put uh, the Randy Richards uh, soft jaws in the chuck. And he made a video on how to make those. Yeah, so what I'm going to have to do is TIG weld this up a little bit more. Yeah, I missed some spots. Yes, yeah, so I got this side done. So now I need to cut it off the length I wanted, and then I'll do the other side. I'll use a ER309L rods on the head. Yeah, so now I have the other end. Uh, I've got this cut off and the other end turned down the way I need it. So now I'm ready to TIG weld this up with the stainless steel. Yeah, I'm going to have to weld up a little bit more on this. It's hard to get it the first try to build it up enough. Yeah, so I got this piece done. There is a few tiny little marks in here. It just wasn't worth going back and welding this up for a third time. So now maybe tomorrow I'll make the other piece, the handle. Yeah, I just took my uh, backup welding helmet off the shelf. This helmet I've never used. It's been sitting on the shelf for years. The battery's bad in it, too, so I'm going to replace that. And this is the one it uses. Yeah, and here's the Miller uh, part number. Yeah, so now I'm making the handle for this hammer. And uh, it's going to be about 13 inches long because it's going to go into the head about an inch. So the handle will actually be about 12 inches long. And I use this Little Rock uh, knurling tool that I got uh, that I actually won at the Bar Z uh, Summer Bash. I think it was about two years ago, two and a half years ago. And it, it did a really nice job. Yeah, I just cut that off with a Scotchman uh, cold saw. I don't have any of these collars to weld on here. This was just one of these collars with a set screw in it. But I TIG welded over so you can't tell. I think I'm just going to leave it without those. 
Yeah, I got to use a four jaw chuck for the first time to drill a hole in this piece. Yeah, so now I'm ready to weld all this together. I accidentally forgot to put the soft jaws in it and left some marks run on it. But this is the very first uh, lathe project. There'll be a lot more, there'll be more involved in this. And also, there'll be another uh, lathe video where I'll actually uh, finish showing the rest of the tooling and uh, do a few projects. Yeah, so I just put this in a drill press vise and I'm going to tack weld this and then I'll take it out and weld the whole thing. And I got this to where it's square. Because it only fits in here like maybe a half an inch. So you got to make sure it's straight. And then I'll weld that end on too. That's just kind of to keep your hand from slipping off. Yeah, I got it finished. I didn't realize it was welding pretty bad and I didn't realize that I was running out of argon. So every like few seconds of tungsten would keep getting contaminated. But it's not perfect, but it's just a hammer, so I guess it doesn't really matter. Yeah, I'll do a, lot, a bunch more uh, lay than uh, MIG welding uh, projects in the future. And I'm going to do a scheduled uh, upload on this. So when, when it actually comes out, I'll be in Florida at a YouTube uh, wedding, probably the first one ever. I'll probably make a video from there. Yeah, and a few other YouTubers will be there also.